Hey guys, it's Rich Man. Two years ago, I reviewed this little red Android TV box. This one right here. This one right here. It's the Tangela X1 Pro. Since then, they've made several upgrades until today, we get to this one. It's the Tangela X5 Pro. It may be pronounced Tangua, but I'm going with Tangela. Anyway, here's the actual box. Now I love the X1, but I was super excited to get this new version into my hot little hands. So today, we're gonna take a look at this new box, see how it performs, and decide whether it's even worth the upgrade. So, let's get into it. Today, there's a lot of options for streaming devices. I've used just about all of them. The Amazon Fire devices, the Apple TV, the Roku, the Chromecast, the Nvidia Shield, and a ton of cheap Android boxes like the ONN from Walmart. They all do about the same thing. Let you sign into different streaming apps, which you pay a monthly or yearly fee for, like Netflix or Disney Plus. And if you're still just using your smart TV for streaming, the interface can be pretty bad and hard to navigate sometimes. But what if I told you you could change all that with one little device? Well, that's where this Tangela X5 Pro comes in. It may not look like much to you, but don't let the looks fool you. The X5 Pro packs some serious heat, and for the past week, I've been putting it through its paces, and I think it's done really well. It comes with two remotes. One is the standard Android remote, and the other is a Bluetooth air mouse that connects up with a little dongle. When you open up the back, you'll see the dongle there. You just pop it out, and it plugs right into the back of your box right here. Just like that. Now keep in mind the remotes don't come with batteries, so you have to purchase them separately. It takes two AAA batteries in each one. And while both remotes work pretty well, I prefer the air mouse. It has all the basic controls, but you don't have to have a line of sight in order to use it, unlike the standard IR remote. Plus, it has dedicated buttons for popular apps like Netflix and YouTube. Now, if you want an even better remote upgrade option, I like to use a mini Bluetooth keyboard, like this one from RII. It lets you type in search terms without having to go letter by letter when you're searching for a particular movie or TV show. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It comes with a quad-core processor, 4 gig of RAM, 128 gig of storage, and, it, and it's expandable with a USB drive or a micro SD card. Plus it runs on the latest Android 11 operating system. So you'll have access to all the apps and services that you already have. And if you have access to the Google Play Store, once you sign in, you can easily download any other apps that you need. Setting up the X5 Pro is simple. Just plug it into your TV's HDMI port, connect to your Wi-Fi, or plug it directly into Ethernet. You power it up and you're ready to go. Now, let's fire up the X5 and see what it can do. Once it's up and running, you'll see the X5 Pro's custom launcher sitting on top of the standard Android TV interface. If you're used to using Android, it's easy and intuitive to navigate. Now let's dive in and take a closer look. Since this is a YouTube-friendly video, I'll be blurring out some of this stuff, but you'll get the idea. Okay, once it's fired up, here we are on the main home screen. And you'll see it looks like pretty much any other Android setup, but they have their own apps that they put on the home screen. So the first thing you'll see here is a shortcut to the Google Play Store. If you click on that, it's gonna take you to a sign-in screen. So I'm not gonna do that right now, but this is where you can sign in and then download whatever uh, streaming apps or any other apps that you wanna put onto your X5 Pro. The next thing you'll see here is your shortcut to YouTube, which is pretty much uh, standard. So once we go back to the home screen, uh, here's a shortcut to your files and then a shortcut to your apps. And here you can see the various apps that you have available. You've got APK Pure here, uh, App Installer. It, it even comes with Downloader for you guys that, that uh, like to sideload APKs. Uh, you've got Disney Plus, you've got a Chrome browser shortcut. Firefox browser shortcut. Uh, if you go down further, you see you've got Netflix here. Uh, another Google Play Store shortcut, Prime Video shortcut. And then down the bottom, 
you've got the TA store, which is what you're going to go into in just a minute. And then you've got the Tars TV and Tang TV apps, which which are what you purchase your subscription for when you buy the box. Well, we've also got Tubi and of course the regular YouTube app is here. You got KDMC, which is the um, KODI shortcut, which we're not going to get into because this is a YouTube friendly video. We've got a Firefox short. We've got a Firefox shortcut uh, wallpaper and then your settings, which let's go into the settings. So the first one up is your network and internet. Here's where you're going to connect to your Wi-Fi. Here's your account and sign in. Also device preferences. You can set your date and time. Here's your language preferences, keyboard and autofill, display and sound. If you click on that, you'll see it's got screen resolution, screen position, a lot of this stuff. These are default settings. You're pretty much going to just leave them. And when you go into storage, you'll see how much device memory you have here. And you'll see your device storage, which is 128 gigabyte. Screen saver settings, energy saver settings, developer options, all the stuff that are advanced settings. You're pretty much not going to touch them. Uh, location settings, accessibility settings, which if, we, if you go in here, you can see you, ha you can have a high contrast text switched on, text to speech, accessibility shortcut, and then you've got restart. And of course your remotes are, and accessories. Here's where you can add your accessory. If you're using a Bluetooth accessory, just go in here, you click add accessory, and you're gonna put your, your device into uh, Bluetooth pairing mode and it's gonna pair it up here. Down the bottom, you've got various shortcuts. A lot of these shortcuts uh, I've added since I've already set up the box, but you can add your own if you want to. If you click on that plus button and you go in here, if you click on something, you'll see a green check mark show up, and then that's gonna add it to your, uh, to your home screen shortcuts. So when we go back here, you'll see down the lower left, it's added that shortcut. Now, once you're signed into your network, you're gonna need to go into your apps folder and find that TAS store app. You need to go in there and you need to do a couple of things before any of this stuff is gonna really work for you the way it's supposed to. Once you click on that, you're gonna see four apps here. The first thing, the very first thing you wanna do is to go into activation. None of this stuff is gonna work for you until you activate the box. I've already activated it, but let me show you what happens. When you click on that, it's gonna download your, your factory activation settings. You're gonna click on install. Leave it install, open it up, just click OK and back out of that. Now you can add your, your two other apps that you want to add, which is Tang TV and Taurus TV. You also have Netflix here, but you, you are going to have to sign into that if you want to use Netflix. So let's go back to the home screen. Now we're going to go into Tang TV. And when it first opens up, it's going to update everything. You can see mine says last updated 11 minutes ago. So it's already updated. But every once in a while, when you turn it on, it's going to have to update. It'll take about a minute. Just let it update. Everything will say last updated, you know, whatever. You've got movies last updated nine minutes ago, et cetera. So you see everything's good to go right now. And then you've also got catch up favorites and live with EPG. So it does have an episode guide along with it, which is really nice. You can also access all these things from the top menu here where you see live TV, movies, series, and settings. If you go into settings, you've got your general settings. Uh, right now, I'm just leaving everything on default. So let me check out some of these other settings. You've got your episode guide here, your EPG setting, which I just leave it on default. Then your time format is here. So you can either have 12 or 24 hours. Um, automation auto update. So this, this just tells it to, um, that it's going to auto update after every two days and the EPG after every one day. So you can change that here if you'd like. Here's your parental controls. So you've got multi-screen here. So you can actually set uh, a multi-screen layout if you want with the picture in picture. And then you've got speed test. Now here it also has a setting for a VPN and a switch device mode, which just switches between mobile and TV. Okay, and you also have, they also have a 24 seven service uh, QR code here. So if you are having any problems, you can just scan that QR code and contact them 24 seven. Now let's go into your live TV. 
And like I said, this is a YouTube friendly video, so I'm gonna be blurring out some of the stuff. So when it loads up, you'll see it has 11,385 different live streams available. And it breaks it down into categories here. So, I mean, you can see all the categories that it has and how many different, um, how many different streams it has. If you were to go into the EPG guy, it's, it's gonna look different. So let's go down there, click on live with EPG. Now that we're loaded up, you can see at top, it says all, and it still has 11,385. And then you can scroll down and decide what you'd like to watch. Uh, let's say we want to go into USA Documentaries. When it loads up, you'll get a preview of the first one that's streaming. And when you back out, it'll show you a little preview up the top. And if you scroll down, if you keep scrolling down, you'll see all the different um, choices that it gives you. It's got a lot of 24-7 stuff, a lot of 24-7 stuff. And it's got stuff from different countries. You can see when we scroll down here. I mean, you can see for yourself, if you get the box, there's, a, there's an amazing amount of live stuff. Down the bottom, you'll see your adult stuff. I'm not going to go into there either. And when we go into movies, up top, you'll see that um, we're looking at 93,747 movies. And again, all broken down by category. And then series, you got 13,979 series. Ketchup, I really haven't bothered with. So if, uh, if any of you, you guys decide to use that, let me know what you use it for and if it's worth using or not. Now, we back out of Tang TV. We're going to exit it. And then we're going to check out TARS TV. This is their backup. If for some reason their servers go down, you can access TARS TV. And it's, it's not as comprehensive as Tang TV. It doesn't have as many items to choose from. You know, it's a good backup if you're looking for something to watch while, while Tang TV is down. Okay, so we're on the TARS TV home screen. You'll see it's basically got your live TV, uh, movies, series. It will also update automatically when you fire it up. So it's already updated. If you go into live TV, you'll see this only has 1,000 live streams to choose from and then movies 1431 and then series 541 series and it also has an epg guide so that gives you a quick rundown of everything you can do with the tangela x5 pro it's a pretty powerful machine and it gives you a lot of different options now i would highly advise you to use a vpn service though when streaming so let me mention my favorite vpn which i've been using and talking about for years and that's ip vanish if you're looking for a VPN with great, affordable online security, consider IPVanish. With IPVanish, you'll get end-to-end -end data protection across all your devices with no device limits. You'll also enjoy fast connections and their zero logs policy guarantees that your online activity stays anonymous. Use the link in the description to secure your online presence for as low as $2.99 a month with their two-year plan. IP Vanish, your simple, affordable solution for internet privacy. So after testing the Tangela X5 Pro, what's my verdict? Here are my final thoughts. This Android box is capable of competing with all the major players, in my opinion, in its ease of use, technical specs, and compatibility with all the major streaming services. But what puts it several notches above the other devices is its subscription service, video on demand options, and support of over 11,000 live TV channels from around the world. You can also watch multiple events with its picture-in-picture -picture mode and a live TV recording feature so you never have to miss a moment of your favorite show. Now, all that being said, it does have a few cons to consider. The first major con is the price. It's not cheap, and it may not be for everyone. Now, the subscription service is included in the price of the box itself, but it's advertised as a lifetime subscription, so you only have to pay the fee once. But that brings me to the second con. What's considered a lifetime subscription? It's obviously not your lifetime or my lifetime, but the lifetime of the box itself. So how long will it last until you have to buy a new one? The only thing I can say is that my original X1 Pro that I've had 
for three years now, is still running and in good condition. So that's a pretty good sign. All that being said, I'm really loving this little box. It'll be finding a permanent home in my entertainment center, that's for sure. And if you're a cord cutter and you want a flexible and feature-packed TV experience, the Tangela X5 Pro might just be the streaming box that you're looking for. Now, if you want more info on the Tangela X5 Pro, I'll leave a special discount link in the description below so you can check it out and get more information. So there you have it, the Tangela X5 Pro Android TV box in a nutshell. Hopefully, this deep dive has given you a better idea of what this little device can do. This is Rich Man. I'll see you next time.